Ecclesiastes chapter 3. A time for everything. To everything there is a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot that which has been planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embraces. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to remain silent and a time to speak up. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. The employment of Yahweh. What profit, advantage, gain, benefit does the worker receive from his labor? I have seen the employment which Yahweh has given to the sons of men, so they might be afflicted by it. He has made everything beautiful in its time. But he has also set the world in their minds, so that no man can find out the work that Yahweh makes from the beginning to the end. I know there is nothing better for men than to rejoice and to do right while they live. For when every man can eat and drink and enjoy the satisfaction of all his labor, that is a gift from Yahweh. I know that whatever Yahweh does, it will be forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. Yahweh acts, and men will give him reverence. That which was, now is, and that which is to be, has already been. And Yahweh requires an accounting of what is past. Carnal man is like the mortal beast. Another thing. I saw about man's life under the sun. Where justice should be found, wickedness was there. Where righteousness should be found, iniquity was there. I said to myself, Yahweh will judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time for every purpose and for every work. I said to myself, concerning the estate of the sons of men, the reason Yahweh tests men is so they may realize that they are like the beasts. That which befalls the sons of men befalls the beast. One thing befalls them both. As one dies, so dies the other. Yes, they all have the same breath of life. Man has no superiority over the beast, for they all are vanity. All are going to the same place. All are from the dust. And all will return to dust. Who can know if the spirit of man goes upward? Or if the spirit of the beast goes downward to the earth? So I understood that there is nothing better for a man than for him to rejoice in his own works because that is his reward.
who can bring him to see what will be after him? 